Trail, a third straight game in McLean. Uh, how important is it? You won the first two. How, how important is it to win this one? Yeah, I think it's really important, you know, um, kind of capping off this little home stretch that we have. Uh, you know, the guys are excited. We had some downtime, uh, you know, to get healthy, rest our bodies a little bit during the bye week. And, you know, everybody's excited to be back. And, you know, we're excited to play. Terrell, y'all got hit with some, I guess, Coach Cousin chunk plays. Um, how do you fix that? Is that, a, is that a fixable thing, I guess? Uh, I would, no, I wouldn't say that. I think it's just winning our one-on-ones. Yeah. Um, you know, with BYU, Texas, they kind of do the same thing. Um, they're going to get us, you know, heavy sets, trying to fit the run game up, and then, you know, try to isolate some of the guys on the outside. And, you know, it comes down to just one of your one-on-ones at that, at that spot. How do you defend B. John Robinson? Um, I think with elite execution and elite effort. You know, he's a elusive, powerful, you know, shifty type of running back. Um, and, you know, we're going to have to all 11 have to, you know, rally to the ball and get him down. You know, he's, he's probably one of the better backs that we're going to see all year. You guys have uh, defended the run really well, especially the last couple of weeks. Have y'all made some adjustments there? That, uh, to um, I don't think so. I think it's more just doing our job. Uh, you know, we talk about doing your 111th, and I think everybody's been able to, able to do that. Um, you know, when all gaps are accounted for, there's nowhere to run. And then whenever, you know, the ball comes in your gap, you just got to make the play. And that's what we've been doing well these past couple of weeks. Does that give you confidence from what you've done the last couple of weeks? I mean, like you said, Bijan may be the best guy y'all face, but just the fact that y'all have shut down. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I think, um, you know, anytime you, you start, you know, progressing in one area, you know, you feel more comfortable and more confident going into the next week. And uh, that's really how we feel about the run game right now. You know, we, we know our jobs, we know what we're doing, uh, and then just getting all 11 guys to play as hard as they can to get the ball down. Uh, I think that's, that's probably the main key factor in stopping the run game. Terrell, considering how uh, good the team's been at getting linebackers into the end zone this week, have you been the third? Man, I used to play running back in high school. I talked to you know what I'm saying. I talked to Coach Juice a little bit, but no, I don't think I don't think that's that's in the card for me. That's cool though. You just got to score on defense. Yeah, for sure, <laughs> for sure. Uh, Terrell, you uh, obviously uh, you're playing really well since missing that game. Do you, do you feel good? And, uh, looks like you're moving. Yeah, I feel good. Um, you know, it took a little while to kind of get get it back under me to where it was 100%. Um, you know, the bye week helped a lot, kind of just being able to rest and, you know, recover a little bit. But I feel good. You know, I'm ready ready to go. Was that a good time for the, you know, the bye week and everything? Maybe just to heal up or, you know, uh, you guys were on a roll, but maybe a good time for a break? Yeah, I think so. You know, anytime, you know, we're going seven weeks in a row, it's, it's tough. Um, and then, you know, just mentally, physically, everything, you know, kind of taking a break for a second. You know, we came out and still worked. We put in a few days of good work. And then, um, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we kind of, you know, got away a little bit and got to, you know, get our minds back right and, you know, focus up for this last stretch. So I think I think it came at a great time for us. When you don't have that Saturday of measuring yourself against an opponent, how do you then that next Monday kind of get right back in and meet that level of expectation? Well, I don't think it really ever stops. You know, we're uh, ever since we ended the BYU game, you know, we kind of moved on to Texas. So, you know, we weren't doing as much, but, you know, guys are still up there watching tape. You know, we're still working out, still practicing and stuff. So um, I think just, you know, taking it one day at a time through the bye week and, you know, preparing for what we're going to see and, you know, what, what we're going to face this upcoming week. So I think it's more of just having a little bit of extra time to be able to prepare. Are all running back running quarterbacks the same? I know you guys just faced you know, Jaron Hall, and now you have Casey Thompson, another guy who can kind of beat your arms and legs. Uh, no, I think I think there's a little bit of difference there. You know, there, you got some run, running quarterbacks that you know have design runs, and then some guys that make stuff happen kind of outside of the pocket, um, and then more elusive, elusive types. And you know, I would say he's kind of the latter. Um, so it's not as much design runs for him. It's more he's kind of you know making things happen when the play breaks down. What's that message from the coaching staff like? I mean, you guys have five games left, three-way tie for second place in the conference right now with three teams that you guys have all beat each other. Yeah, I don't think we're focusing on that. Um, you know, we're trying to go one and zero this week. We're putting you know one foot in front of the other and taking it one day at a time. And you know, we're getting ready to play Texas. Uh, you know, we're excited for the opportunity, obviously, but you know, this this week is the most important week in our season, so we're we're getting ready to play. Texas. Is Kind of known for getting off the fast starts. What do you mm -hmm. what do you have to do defensively to maybe kind of go against that? Uh, I would say create negative plays. You know, um, like you said, they've they've started fast in pretty much every single one of their games. Uh, so 
creating negative plays and, you know, just weathering the storm, knowing that, you know, they're going to make their plays just like we are. Um, and then, you know, going into halftime, kind of getting ourselves together if, if need be, you know, making adjustments, what we need to do, and then coming out and just playing the next 30 minutes of football. So you kind of went through it in 19 with the rankings and bowl eligibility and all that. Does that help you kind of feeding off what Curtis asked? Does that help you, you know, keep the blinders on that kind of thing where you don't get distracted by all that? Yeah, I think so. I think anytime you have experience, you know, in that area, I mean, it's it's uh, a good thing. And, you know, we have a lot of guys that were on that team. So, you know, we're not really focused on any of that. You know, we've got a huge matchup coming up on Saturday that, you know, everybody's excited for and we're working uh, really hard, really hard for. So we're excited. Are there similarities in those teams, not in maybe the personnel, but in what makes a team good and great and be able to get those wins and have that success on the field. Yeah, I think uh, I think it comes down to the culture, you know, the culture and then uh, guys just buying into the process. And I feel like we've done that. And, um, you know, we're all fully 100 percent committed to Coach Aranda and, you know, what he's instilling, what he's what, you know, what he wants from us. Um, and, you know, it's finally coming to fruition and, you know, we're seeing some success on the field. So I think that makes it even easier. You know what I mean? Um, so I know all the guys are bought in and, you know, we're, we're just having fun playing football right now.